hard work is definitely something that uh, comes naturally to you, you know, by the sounds of it. And, and that's what yeah. it takes, you know, when you've got a, when you've got a talent, you actually have to sort of pursue that talent. Um, you can't just sort of sit on your kind of like, you know, high horse and go, yeah, no, well, I'm really good. So I can draw once a, once a week and, you know, I'll, I'll be great. Like, no, no, that's yeah. not how it works. You know, you have to really that's apply your trade. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you've, you've got to treat it like a job. You've got to get up in the morning and you've got to literally treat it like a job. And I mean, you've got to probably work harder than you would in an office job, for instance, because you're working for yourself. Um, you know, I literally paint with every hour that I can get. Yeah, I had a I had a guy on the podcast a, a while ago, and he was like an entrepreneur, and he's like, and he used to be like in the corporate world, and he's like, uh, and as an entrepreneur, you eat what you kill, right? Like, and I was like, oh, yeah. that's quite a nice analogy, you know, like for anybody that kind of works for themselves, like you've got to flip and go and you've got to show up every single day, you know, and it's the same, like, it doesn't matter what you do uh, as an entrepreneur, but you've got to show up every single day and, and that's, will put food on the table ultimately. Yeah. I mean, I get asked that so many times by people. They always say, Oh, what do you do when you don't feel like working and you don't feel like painting? And to be honest, I don't have the option. Like, you know, you've got to just do it. You know what I mean? Like if I don't feel like painting, the best solution is to go there pick up my brushes and just start and immediately like it's going to take a bit longer than a normal day but you will get into it you know you will find that rhythm and yeah it's exactly that you just there's no there's no space for giving up you've just got to do it it's almost like this, the same thing as like if you you know exercising and stuff you like you wake up in the morning and you're like oh i really don't feel like going for a run or whatever it is but you go yeah. you know and then like five minutes in you're like yeah, see, I'm so flipping happy. I went for this run because I feel awesome. And it's probably almost the same thing, yeah. you know, with the art. It's exactly the same thing. That's such a good analogy. It is exactly the same thing. Yeah. yeah. It's just finding that motivation and just putting aside any sort of like laziness and negative feelings about it and just doing it. I think it's like, it's almost finding the discipline. Do you know what I mean? To just go, okay, cool. I know I've got to do that. You know, the that that's kind of what's what gets you on those days where you don't have the motivation yeah and it's also i also think it's um you've got to think about the end result i think that is what motivates me a lot with the painting um especially in those days where i don't feel like working i look at the painting and i think um yeah i mean this painting is going to be lovely when it's done and that sort of just sort of motivates me to get it done because i'm excited to see the end i want to see what it looks like 